Problem number three tells us that the lacrosse team decides to hold a fundraiser by selling tickets to a movie night in the Mildred Auditorium, and they give us a graph to provide info about the money. As we see here, the y-axis for this graph tells us how much money they're going to raise in funds, and the x-axis, running side to side, tells us how many tickets they sold, and this blue line provides our information. Part A says, what is the slope? for the line shown on the graph above, and then also what information do we learn about the movie night based on this slope. So the first question we'll focus on, what is the slope for the line shown on the graph above? And again, if we remember from earlier, slope is really just another term for our unit rate, so long as we find that unit rate with y in the numerator and x in the denominator. So to find slope, we're going to need to find points or data points on this line. So as I look through here, you see on my whiteboard, I've picked out a few. When X is at 20, 20 tickets sold, we're at $250. So that's that first data point you see in purple. And then again, we see later on when X is at 40, Y is at 500. So that's that second data point you see in green here. We'll put that whiteboard into full screen to take a look at how to find the slope. And again, remember, if we're doing y divided by x, it's going to be $250 because we started out at $0. We went up to $250. And for x, we went from 0 to 20 tickets. So the graph shows us that we get $250 of fundraising after we sell 20 tickets. 250 divided by 20. Shows us the same $12.50 for every one ticket if we simplify that. If we tried using the other data point, this is a proportional relationship, as many of you noticed. And so that means any data point that we pick is always giving us the same slope, the same unit ratio. $12.50 for every one ticket. So if you were to put your answer using units, $12.50 for every one ticket, then you actually wouldn't even need an explanation here. You could even just say, see a bob or not bother, I write an explanation, because what information do we learn about the movie night? Well, they fundraise $12.50 for every one ticket. Part B asks us to write an equation that can be used to determine the money raised in dollars. And we're gonna use again, still Y is gonna be our money raised based on the number of tickets sold, or X. So again here, we're not going to be specifically saying how many tickets were sold or how much money was fundraised. We just want to come up with an equation that could be used to determine either of those variables once we know one of them. Our key here, and we'll erase a little bit on the whiteboard and put that into full screen. We want to remember this is a proportional relationship, and every proportional relationship can have an equation written pretty quickly where y equals kx and that constant ratio, that constant slope we kept seeing of 12.5 becomes the unit rate and that multiplies of course with x, our number of tickets, and that equals y. So to get the cost, we take our $12.50 per ticket and we multiply that $12.50 by the number of tickets and that equals our cost. So if we're looking for an equation, y equals 12.5 multiplied with x. Or you could also say y equals, and then we could also show 25 over 2 multiplied with x. But again, most of you are probably going over it in y equals 12.5x, which means $12.50 per ticket equals our total cost.